This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. What's going on, America? Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. Well, of course, you know, everyone on the left, including the funky, crooked, dirty, stinking liberal media, have to overreact to simple things. You know how, uh, how they are. Um, I guess... President Trump did something that was just um, dangerous and, and reckless. He actually had the Secret Service drive him around past all of the folks that were standing outside the hospital, and he waved to them, and, and they all screamed and yelled. And, 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 of course, the liberal media was concerned for the Secret Service men in the car. You know, he's putting them in danger. I mean, he's so reckless. He's just doing it because of his own pride and selfishness. He just needs to be praised. And see, that's where they're going wrong. That's what they don't understand. The very things that they hate about Trump is what we all love about him. He's a people person. He is showing everyone that his heart is with the people. He recognizes what they're doing. He recognizes their support, their sacrifice, all of those things. And he came out to show it and to encourage them and to uplift their spirits so we don't feel like you know, they're going to use this whole COVID thing to to keep the president down or he's not going to make a recovery or he's going to take this as an opportunity to be like creepy, sleep, slop, slime, sleazy Joe and just hide in the basement or something and try to ride out the clock. So by him doing this, I actually pumped everybody up. We're not like the sorry soft core left who's nothing but Eeyore walking around. You remember Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh always negative. Hey, poo. You know, no, we're not walking around like Eeyore. We're not always looking for a reason to complain and say, you know what, you're endangering everybody. And you know, no, no. President Trump is wise enough to know um, where he's at as far as his health. I'm sure he didn't recklessly just say, you know what, forget what the doctors say. Uh, I'm going to go out there and just ride around for no reason. I'm sure they gave him the thumbs up as I watched the news this morning, they said they consulted with each other and said it was okay for him to do it. It was exciting to all of us. It made us know that they don't have him hidden away in some secret dungeon or something. It made me feel like they weren't trying to set the president up for failure. Nothing like that. It's good to see his face. It's good. Maybe if creepy, sleepy, sloppy Joe would do something like that, maybe there would be some excitement behind him. But no. No, there's no excitement behind this dude. This dude right now is out on a solo mission. The whole excitement for creepy, sleepy, sloppy, slimy is generated by negativity. By them just saying, I hate Donald Trump and we have to beat him, even if we have to vote for creepy, sleepy, slimy, sleazy Joe. So, um, yeah. So President Trump peeked his head out like the groundhog and we were all like, yay. And then, of course, you know, the media is in danger. Like the Secret Service guy, you know, these are healthy men. These are tough guys. These This guy ain't sitting there like, oh, man, I'm in a high-risk category. I'm afraid to be in the car with the president. These men have to guard the president 24 hours a day anyway. So what's the difference between riding him around in the limo or standing in his room, standing outside his door? I'm sure they've been communicating with the president um, since he's been hospitalized. And yet the media, liberal media, want to make it appear like the president has been isolated in a big old bubble wrap around his room like he has Ebola no doctors come and go they uh, tell him to come up to the plastic and they stick their hands through the little thing to you know give him injections and all of that stuff um, you know I know I had I had corona I understand that you do need to be cautious you need to be isolated Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. There was times where I felt like I had energy and was ready to go. Next thing you know, I'm like, oh my God, maybe I might have jumped up too quick. But nonetheless, I knew my limitations. And I'm sure the president does too. So they have to understand by attacking him over every little thing, they end up making us love him more. They're coming across like a Debbie Downer. They're coming across like a full-blown hater. They're coming across like someone who's nitpicking and looking for reasons to attack the president. And what they're really doing is making a hero out of the president or 
they'll end up making a martyr out of the president. You be the choice because the bottom line is the more they tag team and gang up on him, the more we say yay and all of that stuff. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see him making a recovery. They said he might be going home today. We don't know. We'll see. Nonetheless, uh, I'm sure he'll be giving us some messages very soon. Be back on the campaign trail to finish sticking it to the left. Um, and I'm also excited about the new Supreme Court justice pick that's coming up, even though, even though the Democrats are doing everything they can to say it's dangerous. We're scared. We're scared. We can't come in to actually do the vote. OK, well, that's cool. So we'll just do it virtually. How about that? Oh, oh well, um, that's dangerous, too. We're scared that those Corona crumbs might come through the screen and get on. Uh, we don't want Corona crumbs on us. Uh, whining and complaining, but we all know why they don't want that vote to go through. But anyway, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Yay, go President Day Trump. Um, and we'll check y'all out later on. I'm going to be doing some live stuff. I'm going to be doing a couple individual videos uh, tonight, probably uploading. So who knows? I might just make a cameo appearance live tonight or maybe tomorrow night prior to Wednesday. But anyway, just stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe, that you hit your notifications and make sure that they're set on all um share the video all that good stuff don't forget check out extreme tees my sponsor if you like their products click on the link below put kevin in the promo code you'll get a 20 percent discount and if you want to donate to kevin and kevin's corner feel free there's a link below the video to do that and we'll see y'all next time in kevin's corner god bless take care